What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction to Azure Lane. This is episode 3. Uh, perchance like a human. Or oh, sorry, sorry. Elegance. Perchance like a human. So let's see. What happened actually last episode? Last episode we got to see more of... Uh, we actually got to see the Iron Blood faction was actually introduced with uh, Prince Eugen. I think that's actually how you pronounce it. Um, I always pronounce it as Eugen. Um... Because I, I don't know why. I think that's just how I visually just see it. And plus, I feel like, um, like I know Eugen is uh, actually the uh, someone actually had pointed that out in one of the last videos during the in the comment section. Well, it's like, hey, it's pronounced Eugen, and I actually didn't know that. So thank you for that. But it's I, I feel like Eugen or Eugen just rolls off the tongue a little bit more better. Um, so I'll just probably probably still subconsciously will call her that um like i don't mean anything by it i think it's just because i'm just gonna be so used to calling her that in my head because i've actually had i actually was able to obtain her probably near the beginning when i first started um i had got her i think she was like one of my like my fourth or fifth uh sr unit um so that's the main reason why i was just like yeah i'm probably just like that i just kind of like that's how i just heard it in my mind so it's gonna be hard for me to call her to call her Eugen. Um so I'm probably gonna continue to call her Eugen, um, even though that's not the the correct pronunciation. But I'll try. <laughs> but yeah. But anyways, we got introduced to them. I wonder. I, I I think Bismarck is actually going to be showing an appearance. I wonder what other Iron Blood um, uh, units are going to be in, uh, shown in here because the only ones I can maybe think. Um, because I, I I I believe Z two three or Nimi is um is part of it. Yeah, she is. She was shown. I'm trying to figure out what other um, Iron Blood units actually might be in here. In fact, really quickly, um, Azure Lane. Oops, uh, Iron Blood. Uh, yeah, because I just want to check really quickly how many of them are in there. Uh, so we got all these. Um, oh, we, we, we're gonna get Colm because I remember. Um, that she was introduced. Probably, I should, I should probably hide the, there you go, really quickly, sorry. I'm gonna hide my logo. Um, we might, ooh, I wonder if we're gonna get Graf Zepp, Zeppelin. I think we're gonna get Turpets. I'm actually, we might get Turpets. I would actually really like to see Turpets. Um, uh, Bismarck, I, I, I just have a really big feeling we'll probably get Bismarck. I would like to see Graf Spree. Gra uh, Graf Spee. Uh, that would be actually really interesting. Um, we already got Prince Eugen. It's still hard for me to say that, man. Um, I wonder if we're going to get any of the uh, submarines, too. I would love to see Rune. I would love to see Rune. Um, I don't even know this chick. Oh, Fre um, Frederick. I don't have her. I don't have her at all. Um, oh, so she's a plan, so I'm assuming she is, like, one of the... Uh, she is uh, research. But, yeah. I'm really curious as to who we're going to get. Um, in terms of... of um, uh, uh, hold on. Azure Lane, um, Sakura Empire, oops, not us, Sakura, Sakura Empire, I wonder who we're going to be getting from them as well, I mean, we got Ayanami, for sure, um, I would, I would expect we're probably gonna see her, uh, Shira, I always, I just call her Shira, uh, let's see, I know we, I'm probably, we probably actually got introduced to a couple of them, but I just, don't really remember in all honesty. Um, we're, I know we're gonna get Otago and Takao because they're introduced in the, in the uh, opening. So we're, probably, we're definitely gonna get those. I would love to see Kir Kirishima. I would love to see her in her skin. <laughs> um, Yamashiro we're probably gonna get. I would love to see Nagato, even though she is a, a um, she is I think only available in the. She was only she was an event only, but I would love to see Nagato. She's great. Akagi and Kaga we got. Um, Soryu and Hiryu that would be cool. Shokaka we got introduced to, right? Yeah, Shokaka, Shokako, Kaku, Jesus, Akashi. I, I have a feeling we're going to get Akashi. I don't think we've seen Akashi yet. I might have. Um, I would love to see Taiho and Zui Kaku we saw. Uh, other than that, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Have we been introduced to anything else? Mikasa, she's coming in the event. Good, going for her. Um, in the upcoming event. Wait, what? What? What is this? What is this? I don't... What is that? She, that's a battleship version of Kaga? Huh. That's gotta be later on. I, I, I don't... 
remember that. But yeah, so we're going to get a lot of stuff, I feel like. I wonder. But enough talking. I've been recording for about five minutes now without even showing the video. And I do apologize. Um, but yeah, we have. there's a lot of possibilities. Again, like I said, we don't have a main, like, we the, the main character isn't in here because... That, although I'm trying to figure out how that is because the main character, you in the game, is what is a big driving point as to how to get the other factions onto your side, basically. Um, from what I remember. Again, like I said, I passed the storyline, I just kind of skipped over it. One day I will probably just sit down if I'm bored out of my mind um, and just sit down and just go back through collections and read all of it. But I kind of just skip it for the most part, Ex with the exception of maybe collabs and recent um, events. I've been just I've been reading it because I've, I'm actually enjoying some of the events and the collaborations um, storylines. Uh, I, I find those actually pretty interesting. Um, but usually when I'm playing Azure Lane, I'm playing through. <laughs> I have like time restraints, so I can't really just like sit down and like fully engross myself in it. I think the only time I've ever done that was maybe with a uh, with um girls frontline um but yeah i am glad that azure lane has gotten the adaptation and i'm thoroughly enjoying it for the last two episodes i'm curious as to see if it's going to continue with its performance and this style if i can say that um but yeah i've been thoroughly enjoying it gonna be putting back over my little overlays to prevent any copyright claims but yeah <laughs> anyways guys i'm ready to jump into this so guys without further ado let's jump into episode three of azure lane starting in three two one let you. <sighs> also heard we're gonna dub with this. Very curious. Is that Yorktown? I think that's Yorktown. It is. That is Yorktown. I knew that she was, like, sickly. Damn right. So, that was in the past. Is she dead already? Rations? OUTs. That's Belfast, right? That is Belfast. I think. Yeah, that is. She's actually a good unit. I don't have her maxed out yet, though. Surprisingly. Um... But yeah, so if so, I wonder like later on. Okay, so my prediction of this show is we're going to be. It's mostly going to be our, our Azure Lane fighting for the most part. Um, well, it's going to be basically Eel Union and um, Royal Navy versus Sakura Empire and uh, Iron Blood, and I and the Iron Blood faction for the most part. But it's not going to be until it's not going to be until maybe the Sirens show up where they have to fight together. Because I don't think we're going to get the Sardeg Sardegno? Sardegno? It's the Italians. We're not going to get them in involved because I, I, I highly doubt it. They're not even shown in the opening, so I'm assuming not. Um, see, there's still a lot of characters. I still don't know because, like I said, I don't use them. Colm. Oh, man, I want to pause, but like I said, I, it ruins it. But I am glad we got Cleve, bro. Hood. So, yeah, see, so we're seeing the sirens, so that's my, my that's my guess. We're got, the sirens are going to be the main antagonist overall, because I mean that's kind of how it's been. And I'm not too far along in the main storyline. I'm only on ch I just hit chapter seven. I'm more focused on grinding and doing other things, but yeah. Okay, we are getting Bismarck. I totally forgot. 
Bismarck's in the opening. Yeah, so we are getting Bismarck. But it didn't like we're getting get we're not getting Graf Spree. Or Spee. <laughs> oh, that was cool. She's best made. Oi. Okay, that's Oigan. I like how she's just sitting back and... It is Oigan. Okay. It's just weird. I always pronounce it Yugen. It's Oigan. Okay. See, it's weird. The CG actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> War spite. And she's hold on, hold on. She's she's in a retro. She's in a retrofit pose. Edinburgh and Sheffield. I, I I've never came across Sheffield. And of course, Queen Elizabeth can't go. Yeah, I'm actually really um. I'm real. I would love to see there. Uh, hi, Nimi. <laughs> By the way, yes, the big three is Leafy, Javelin, and Nimi. Z two three. I do apologize. I included Ayanami as the big three, but she's not part of the big three. I forgot about Nimi. <laughs> Freaking Long Island. <laughs> it's okay, she didn't lucky eat you. You're good. You can live to fight another day. <laughs> and then, now we cut back. Um, they did Meteor Res. It's weird. See, so that's the rations. That's actually kind of cool. I will. I want to see more war spite. War spite is actually probably like, in in terms of all the Royal Navy. In terms of like the Royal Navy, I think war spite's probably my favorite. Queen Elizabeth's just hilarious. Fish and oh, fish and chips sounds great too. Was that Saratoga? That looked like Saratoga. There's a uh, Ark Royal. There's Ark Royal. I need to see it. That looks like Saratoga. It's hard to tell. That really does look like Saratoga. Because I didn't see her in the main battle. <laughs> that was Haman. Oh, crap. Is that the... um? Oh, shoot. You know what's sad? I'm starting to realize, um, pick out the... Um, even the planes. Oh, that's fancy. Prince of Wales... Illustrious. Like, I can definitely see why, how the, it would be hard to remember names in this show. I could easily say, if you're not, uh, if you're not familiar with the original game. I could totally say that. I forgot, is Unicorn Royal or Eagle? I'll look into that. But I think she's Royal Navy. <laughs> so extravagant. More spy. <laughs> Freaking Queen Elizabeth. I love Hood and her side hat. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure that Unicorn is part of the Eagle Union. Or, no, sorry, not, um, Royal Navy, sorry. I, th I just love Worst Bites design, not outside of the fact that she doesn't have pants. <laughs> I do like for like a little tiny thing. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth is also a really damn strong unit. She's really damn, uh, really good. Especially if you run her on, if you run her on a on a Royal Navy fleet. Oh, Vestal. I'm actually almost done training you up. I think she's at like 97, level 97. I run them in commissions all the time. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of sisters. It's weird. She like for some reason like I I've, I I've never used vessel. I've just literally thrown her in um. I've literally only thrown her in um commissions. I just kind of felt like her voice would be almost lighter, or yeah. A, a, a higher pitch voice. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Hello, Belfast. Any unicorns behind? Yep. Isn't she right there? I was like, isn't she right there? <laughs> That is, I think that is Saratoga. <laughs> of course, we're getting the beach scene. <laughs> uh oh, where's Ark Royal? <laughs> is Ark Royal just somewhere in the background? I'm gonna laugh my ass off if that's the case. Hornet just chilling out. Hey, San Diego! Sandy, are you gonna die again? <laughs> You're gonna die again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. S San Diego is a, is a meme, is the meme unit. Or, you know, you could just transform the first place. So, yes. So, Saratoga is... Okay, so... For some reason, I thought Saratoga was, in a, was a different faction outside of the Eagle Union. Hmm. <laughs> I just love how she's just screaming in the background. Yes. That no, that's a that's a cool car. I'll take one of those. <laughs> you have to rest. Yeah, you can't always be on on edge. <laughs> she wants to go. Yep. Adorable. Now let me get Enterprise in a swimsuit. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 
Panic shot. Sorry, sorry, unicorn. I don't see you like that. <laughs> You're for head pads only. Nothing more. <laughs> She's for head pads and protecting. Nothing more. And then you degenerates are like, yeah, oh, I want a handhold. Filthy degenerates. <laughs> Almost because, uh, like, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the reason why she has this kind of attitude was simply be, simply due to the fact of, um, because of Yorktown. So I'm assuming that Yorktown has quote unquote sunk at this point. I forgot who sunk her, though. I know it was Soccer Empire that wa was the one who basically killed Yorktown. At least that's how it happened in the game. Yeah, because I think in the very beginning, that's how it starts off. In the very beginning of the game. So it's not really spoilers. And honestly, you can kind of piece it together in the in in here. It was they were shown it was done, it was shown in a flashback, so it was done. It wasn't really done media res. Um, yeah, it definitely wasn't media res. So it was shown in a flashback, but yeah. I, I like I said, I would love to see a <laughs> Lafey. I would love to see a retrofit version. That would be great. <laughs> I also didn't know that the unicorn had uh, that unicorn's unicorn had sentience. You know, I should really build up a Hammond. Hammond. Belfast. It would be really cool if you see Essex too. That would be really cool if you get to see Essex. Probably not. There's only so much. Like I said, I think there's only twelve. I'm almost positive there's only it's this only a one course, a one core anime, so only twelve episodes. Cleveland. An attack? Who would attack at this? Sirens? Oh, it's a distress call. Good question. Why Enterprise? You should kind of, you know, you should probably back off. I wonder if it's a. I think it's a siren. I think it's a siren. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm right. No, the. So someone attacks sirens. I wonder who it could be. Yeah, 
You are not a vanguard unit. Stay back. I am curious as to who it's going to be, though. I really don't think it's going to be soccer, the Sakura Empire. Yeah, I don't know. That almost looks CG. If that was CG, that was really clean CG. I totally forgot about them. No, I, t I totally forgot about the Chinese Empire. Sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot. Is she dead? Oh yeah, that's not good. Careful, that's a... Are you gonna get barraged? Oh, so she's still alive. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not familiar with, like, hardly any of the Chinese forces. I'm really not. Barrage. No, oh, okay, I was wondering what she was trying to do. Yeah, by the way, where's the other units? Why are they just chilling back there? I'm just gonna start cracking again. There you go. <laughs> Boobs. Cool. I, this is the first time we got to see torpedoes. Yeah, I totally forgot about the Dragon Empire. I feel sorry, but yeah, I just... I, I don't think I've ever used them. I do like Belfast, though. She's pretty great. <laughs> Alright, so that was actually not too bad of an episode. I, like, okay, so it, this one definitely was more of a... This was a bit of an all-over, all-over-the-place kind of episode. I mean, we got to be, we got to be, show a little bit more of the Royal Empire. Royal Navy, sorry. Um, okay, hold on. Leafy, Javelin... Unicorn, Saratoga, Illustrious, Prince of Wales, Hammond, someone from Soccer Empire. Oh, God, what's her name? What's the one, the white hair? Oh, my God, what's her name? Yeah, Cleave Bro, Belfast, um, Enterprise. I just realized that the, um, there's actually, like, steam effects on that cup. A soup. No, that's Hammond. Hammond. 
Huh. Okay, I don't really know who those three were. Hornet, Akagi, Kaga. What are they eating, by the way? I can't tell what those are. <laughs> Takao. No, not Takao. Atag uh, Akagi. No! Atago. Jesus. And those are the ones we just got introduced to. So, it's weird. I wonder when we're gonna get to, um... Alright, so I'm curious on when we're gonna get to Cow. And... A, a, a Tago. Because those are my two interests, because they're showing, they're showing her. She's both in the intro, she, well, she's in the intro and the outro. Not, um, Takao is not in the outro, though, so I'm a little bit interested where she pops in. Bismarck, I feel like Bismarck's kind of going to be, I, I, I don't know, like, who, if Bismarck is the leader of, um, hold on, Bismarck, Azure Lane. I don't know if she's, like, the leader? I don't know, like, I wonder if there's an actual, like, okay, so this is, this isn't really telling me, it's just telling her stats. Hold on, let me see, okay. Let's, oh, nope, still more stats, still more stats. Uh, no, let's see, is there anything, like, in terms of, because I'm almost, I think Bismarck is, like, the leader, or at least one of like the highest le leaders. Hmm. Oh, but yeah, I am curious as to see how they're going to introduce them. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go wrap up this episode reaction. Let me know what you guys thought in the in the comment section below. This, this like looking at it now, this episode kind of seemed a little bit paced a lot differently. Like they introduced these two characters from the Chinese Empire, or, or the Dragon Empire, uh, I think that was what they were calling it, um, I just preferred Chinese Empire, just, I don't know, um, so I'm curious as to seeing how those two are involved, I literally don't remember them in the story, like I said, I skipped most of the story, I'm probably gonna say this almost every time I do a, a video on, on this show, but, yeah, I don't remember them whatsoever in the actual so in the actual storyline. So I'm assuming maybe they're just a small plot device for this current thing. <laughs> Again, I don't even know if this is going based off the actual show. So that is the biggest question mark as well. But I really don't know how I feel about this episode. Like I said, it it it, it introduced your town and it's showing more about the. The, I would, it's almost hard to like, it's almost like a PTSD for Enterprise. Um, almost like she feels guilty, um, and th how she lost Yorktown. Because like I said, I'm assuming Yorktown is already gone because of how they're showing things. And they have, they've only shown her flashbacks and from the setting and the, Feel that Enterprise is basically showing, and the, how the show is also showing it. it. It's almost making it seem like Yorktown has passed away. And like I said, in the game, Yorktown has quote unquote sunk in the very beginning of the game, I believe. Like the very beginning of the game, like as you start the game, I think that is like the first battle you lose Yorktown. So again, I'm not really spoiling anything if someone is going to say so. It's it, just how it is. But again, the show might not be going based off the exact storyline of the game. It's a possibility. Um, but we'll see. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go wrap up this episode. Like I said, I felt like the first two episodes were better. I think it's because of the action scenes. I, like I said, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying the action scenes. And I kind of... And I know we're going to get more. Um, but we'll see what happens. I and mean, then this was good character development for Enterprise. I, I already knew it. I already knew about how, her like personality and such. So I think that might be why. I wasn't as big of a fan as of this episode compared to the other two. Um, it's because Akane already knew this, like, how she is, the way she is, um, and I could see it for, like, people who have never really known about Enterprise's backstory or her, um, situation or why she is the way she is. I can see there's people liking this one because it does give her character development, but because I've already 
witnessed it, I guess you could say, or have experienced this or have known about why she is the way she is, I think that's the only reason why it's a little bit less of an episode to me. I mean, I, I, I do enjoy, like, the whole, like, little interactions with the Royal Navy, um, and I want to see more of them. Like I said, Warspite's probably one of my favorite characters out of that, and I would like to know more about her in general. I mean, any of the characters from the Royal Navy are pretty interesting. Prince of Wales is interesting. Um, freaking Queen Elizabeth is a character, and she's interesting. Like, she's a fun character as well. Um, but most of most of them are pretty good, except maybe Ed Edinburgh, because I don't know anything about her. But we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction to Asher Lane. Um, again, I do apologize. I'm always a little bit late on these because I, I work Thursdays, in which, and it comes out, like I think, like 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning, um, my time. But I don't get home at work until like 4 or 5 hours later. So it is what it is. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Flashback Friday series continuation of... Rascal does not dream of bunny girl stunt I had to remember the name of it. Um, and if you're not watching that with me, maybe you're watching my Saturday reactions to Boku Ben or We Never Learn. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.